Well, hey, it wouldn't be a hot golf episode if we hadn't come to the Brecon Beacons for golf. Absolutely. Right? We're here now at Rogers Home Club, the Brecon Golf Club, which was opened in... 1902. 1902. You were born in 1901, right? Uh, it was just a little <laughs> before my time. Yeah. Just a bit. Just a bit. Yeah. So Not very, <laughs> very special local club. Yeah. yeah. Nine holer. Nine holes, good length, just over 6,000 yards, um, all cut out of the natural terrain here. So it's a good place to play golf. Not many hills to climb, but some challenging holes. Um, you, we have uh, two par threes in the nine, uh, one par five. Uh, we've got, there's a par 70 course when you go around the nine twice, uh, and it's a real challenge. Yeah. So, well, the challenge also is the beauty that captivates you as you play your round of golf here in the village. You're going to see so much here. We're going to tour the village. We're going to take a look at the Brecking Golf Course. That other place, your, your rival club is called what? That's called Craddock. 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 Yeah, that's a small village just outside Brecken, uh, a couple of miles outside the town. And they're up on the hillside up there, and they get all the bad weather. We get the good stuff down here. There you go. <laughs> but it's a lovely, quaint, Welsh setting this week on Hot Golf from Brecon. Brecon, Wales. Now, the Craddock Golf Club was built in 68, I believe. So let's let's break this golf course down a little bit. It does sit in this beautiful valley on top of this mountain. But let's talk about the course. Is it hilly? Yeah. yeah. It's, um, it's not as hilly as it used to be. We, we built uh, two or three new holes some uh, uh, four years ago, and uh, that took out some of the climb because some of our visitors were finding it uh, rather strenuous. Um, but it's still, it, you know you've played a round of golf by the time you've been around here. It's a challenging course, I would say, but it, it suits all abilities uh, from people who are high handicappers and those who are uh, uh, in single figures. Very good. Well, some of the signature holes that we've talked about here at Craddock, hole number three, beautiful yeah. course. Yeah, hole number three is a short, the first par three on the course, quite short, but with a challenging pond in front of the green. And you've got to erase that from your mind when you're playing your tee shot, <laughs> as you will find out. Right, right. But, uh, but it was used by Sky Television um, in uh, an advert for Welsh golf um, with a, a fabricated uh, shot that uh, bounced off the water, but then went up onto the green and into the hole for an ace. But, uh, <laughs> that was your shot, somebody told me. It was not my me. shot. No, <laughs> I, wouldn't, no I, wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't claim fame to, uh, <laughs> to that extent, no. Very good. And of course, some of the other holes here at Craddock, provide a vista this beautiful beautiful mountain range yeah? yeah yes well if you get up on the seventh green for example you've got a panoramic view uh, looking at Panavan, the highest mountain in the area well hey we are going to head out here on the craddock golf course right now patrick is going to show me around we're going to tee it up on hole number three to begin and i'm going to try the skimmy skimmy thing yeah, okay you are, yeah. in a you, hole you're going to allow your tee shot to be filmed then are you <laughs> <laughs> As we teed up on Craddock number three, now you can really see that wind kicking and blowing out there. I'm at about a hundred yards, so I've grabbed a pitching wedge, and hopefully the wind blowing off the Brecon beacons is not going to uh, blow that ball too too far to the left. But we'll give it a go. Definitely. Oh. Well, even that pitching wedge was a little bit long. I really caught a hold of it. I thought the wind was going to take it, but uh, a little bit too much club there. Hey, we're on one of the most beautiful holes I've ever seen in my entire life. Golf is about nature. Golf is a getting out there, forgetting about your troubles and your worries. Pat, with this kind of view behind us, you don't worry about anything. You don't worry about the wife, you don't worry about the job, the kids, anything. You worry about your tee shot. <laughs> you worry about your tee shot, absolutely. <laughs> you do, because you need to be straight because if you, you've got a bunker either side guarding the green and you need to get your, your club choice correct uh, depending on whether you're going to land it uh, from a high trajectory and stop it on the green or whether you're going to run it on between the two bunkers. Very good. So you've got that choice to make. So well, we're on hole number 12 here at Craddock. Yeah. Beautiful par 3. It's about a buck fifty from the back tees where I'm at. Got a club down. I've gone with an 8 iron because of the wind. So, well, I'll have Adder Pat. Yeah, good luck. Thank you.
absolutely gorgeous. In the, in the Usk Valley, is that what it's called? Usk Valley, that's right. Usk Valley. I mean, seriously, if you've never considered coming to Wales, I mean, seriously, most people think European golf, let's go to Scotland, which is awesome. Let's go to Ireland, which is awesome. I'm here to tell you, you need to put Wales on your radar. So, is that right, Pat? It certainly is, yes. Here we are on our seventh pole. Of Seven. Seventh pole, and um, it's uh, another one of our four par threes, 137 yards off the whites. Um, and you play towards a green which is slightly elevated from where we are. A uh, couple, of, couple of bunkers, but guarding the green either side. You're usually playing into the prevailing wind, coming down the Usk Valley. So you probably need to take a club more than you thought you needed. Driver. But it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> not quite like that. Sounds like me. But uh, it's a shelved green, or, or sometimes called Mackenzie greens, and uh, um, you've got to try and end up on the on the same level as the flag. If right, not, right. then you will have an awkward putt to either play up or down the slope. Something. Well, let's see if it's an awkward putt or okay. even in the hole. Yep. Can I have that option, yes, please? Yes, you can. Go okay, in the hole. Go straight in. Right. Left again, huh? Push it in there, wind. What does that say? Bathe my golf time, our uh, egg oil. One more time. Bathe my golf time, our egg oil. One more time. <laughs> Beef my golf time, our egg oil. Oh, one more time, one more time. Beef my golf time, our egg oil. Beef my gal, McGee for galal. <laughs> Which means, in English? More hot golf after the break. <laughs> right, more golf to have in Welsh. Let's go. <laughs>